Hi everyone. Uh, today that I'll be going to Pulau Ubin. So as you can see that I'm actually almost gonna reach the ferry terminal ahead. Uh, so without further ado, let's go. Woohoo! Ladies and gentlemen, we have already arrived at Pulau Ubin. It was a former granite quarry in the 1960s and also one of the two last rural areas in Singapore with the other being at Kampung Lorong Bangkok. So let's get going and explore this island. First up, we have the main village called Ubin Town. So it's the only settlement on this island. So as you can see, there are bicycle shops, eateries, provision shops, etc. There is also a Chinese opera stage located in the village center. So this is where performances like Ge Tai, Chinese opera, are held during important festivals presented to the temple gods. This is the Ubin Living Lab. It's an integrated facility dedicated to support research and field studies, environmental education, and community outreach. It allows students to engage in experimental learning while playing their part in conserving Singapore's biodiversity. There are also campsites for overnight camping, but don't forget to apply for a camping permit first. We have arrived at this Ketam Mountain Bike Park. Okay, so right now we are here. So I intend to get all the way to the, this viewpoint to see the Ketam Quarry. So basically, I plan to try a little bit. Maybe go under here. Then maybe cycle on the earth track. Then later go to the viewing point. We are right now at the Ketam Mountain Bike Trail. Uh, if you look behind me and that's actually the query so I want to go to the viewing point to see the query in more detail right now i'm riding on a section of the mountain bike trail in katam called the blue grass so it's about 200 meters so as you can see it's not really easy look at the narrow path and actually which is why they say that this is not recommended for first time cyclists but anyway just want to try part of it. In this Katam Mountain Bike Park, there's also a free ride skills park. So I'm going to show you the some of the features. Okay. So some of the features, for example, it can be like uh, triple lock. Uh, there's also teeter totter. I think this is more for the those cyclists who want to do stunts. So just have to be very careful when using this facility. So I'm right now at uh, one of the beaches in Pulau Ubin. Okay, so if you look behind me, that's actually called the uh, Katam Island. Uh, this is actually very small and obviously it's forested. Uh, then if you look behind me, this is like a river mouth where you go all the way to the sea, I suppose. Uh, and I think the same thing can be said for the back. Anyway, I also want to highlight that there are also those Kelongs behind. Uh, I think it's something to do with like catching of fish 
and where they stay. I guess so. Okay, right now I am at the uh, Katam Quarry. So Katam Quarry is actually one of the quarries in the Pula Obin. So as you can see, there's a huge pond of water from behind me. So actually before that, I think about 30 or 40 years ago, so this place used to be a mining area. Maybe I guess to mine gold or mine the raw materials for production. But once this mining company is actually closed down and when the residents are, most of them resettled to mainland Singapore, so this the mining industry I think closed and there is a huge depression, okay, caused by the hole. And when the rainwater accumulates over time, and this is what happens, you can see a pond of water behind me. One feature of Pulau Bin is that they also do have a cold drink store. Okay, so if you look behind me, uh, usually these stores they are open. Okay, so this is one example of a cold drink store. I think they sell coconut drinks. Mm, and I think canned drinks, but today, I think is it they are off day. So maybe it's not working and that's why it's closed. So if you see ahead of me, that is actually the Johor Strait. Okay. So you notice there's actually this kampong right in the middle, I think closer to the Singapore side. And actually you see a forest right over there is already Malaysia. We are right now at the Mamang campsite, which is at the northern part most the northern part of the Pulau Bin. Okay, so these, there are actually quite a number of campsites if you notice in Pulau Ubin. The West also have uh, got the outward bound camp uh, here, very rare people will come. And I think the only facilities, if you look be behind me, uh, that's just a toilet. Okay, right now we are going to the Chak Jawa wetlands, which is actually a popular attraction in Pulau Ubin. So the road that I'm riding on in front is unpaved. So I'll bring you to see how the Chat Jawa wetlands is like. So finally I've arrived at Chat Jawa wetlands. Uh, so first of all, after I go to the toilet and you look at me, behind is actually the some house. So I think it's a visitor center and it can contain some I think it contains some information about Chat Jawa so let's have a look. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm standing at one of the broad walks of the Chak Jawa. Uh, the actual broad walk, okay, the, which is the main highlight, will actually be behind me. Okay, if you look at uh, where my finger's pointing. So, right now we enjoy the scenery here before I bring you to the broad walk. If you look behind me, do you notice there's actually a tree which is like, its trunk is like partially submerged in the sea. So, I believe this is actually a mangrove tree and right now the tide level is increasing until maybe about 4 p.m. or 5 p.m. when the tide is at its highest. There is this one interesting thing that I observed. Huh? Okay, if you look behind me, huh, that's actually the pier. Okay. Uh, looks like some pier to like where the ships dock at the pier and for our support. Huh? So I'm thinking if this was meant to like meant to be a place when like meant to be a jetty when like for people to board a ship to come to Pulau Ubin. I don't know. What do you think? Okay, right now you're on a mangrove broad walk. Okay, so uh you can see where the sea makes the land, uh, that's the shore. 
Mm. Over here, you can actually see the roots protruding out of the sea. That's a feature of the mangrove forest. So you can see the mud skipper is a very common creature. Uh, you can see quite a few. So they are these animals that not only can live on land but also can live in the water. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now leaving a Chat Jawa wetlands and we'll be going back to the ferry terminal to take a ferry from Pulau Ubin back to Changni. So with that, we have come to the end of the trip for Pulau Ubin and this is also the end of the video. So if you like my video, do remember to like and subscribe my YouTube channel. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!